Prince Harry's security demands assessed, wrong direction. Prince Harry's security demands were assessed by a security specialist in a throwback interview. The Duke of Sussex will not return to the UK later this month for the Thanksgiving service for the life of his grandfather Prince Philip, a spokesman confirmed on Friday. Harry will not fly back for the March 29th service at Westminster Abbey, but his spokesman confirmed he plans to visit the Queen as soon as possible. Though the spokesman did not give a reason for Harry's decision, the news comes amid his ongoing fight with the Home Office over the protection his family receives when on home soil. His legal team said he does not feel safe bringing his children to the UK after he was stripped of taxpayer-funded police protection, despite having offered to pay for it himself. The Sussexes were later told they could not pay for Met police protection out of their own pockets, so will not have the deep level of security intelligence that comes with state-funded protection when they next return. Alex Bomberg, CEO of Intelligent Protection International Limited, whose company provides close protection services to royal families and ultra-high net worth individuals globally, suggested that the debate over Harry's security is being looked at from the wrong direction. Speaking to LBC in January, he said, I'm afraid I think this is being looked at from the wrong direction, if I'm honest. Harry, is a royal prince of Great Britain. He is Prince Harry. He is still a prince of Great Britain. The fact that he's stepped back from royal duties is besides the point, he's still at risk. He is still at the same risk as he was before. Mr. Bomberg explained that Harry's protection team in the US carry firearms, and are not necessarily qualified to work in the UK. He continued, they don't have the ability to carry firearms in the UK if they did come to the UK. Mr. Bomberg argued Harry should be entitled to police protection officers, and that these should also work for the Sussexes in California. He said, I do believe he is entitled to it, yes. If they are prepared to meet some of the cost themselves, then that's absolutely fine. But I do believe that he should be entitled to this. He should maybe be able to pay for some of that himself. There should be an arrangement made. We're not talking about someone who's an actor or a celebrity coming to Britain and demanding that they be protected. We are talking about Prince Harry who was born into the royal family. While Harry will not return for his grandfather's memorial service, he will fly to Europe just a matter of days later for the Invictus Games. The sporting event for military veterans, founded by Harry in 2014, takes place in The Hague in the Netherlands in mid-April. The Duke of Edinburgh's funeral was limited to just 30 attendees last year due to coronavirus restrictions at the time. Harry's failure to return for the larger celebration of his grandfather's life was slammed by royal biographer Angela Levin as a child stamping his feet, as she added Harry would have the police protection he desires at the service. She gave her opinion in The Sun this week that Harry has snubbed the Duke of Edinburgh but really he is snubbing the Queen who was reportedly given just 15 minutes notice of Harry's planned announcement on Friday. She added, he has got this all wrong. If he comes over for a royal event he gets police protection. What they won't do is, if he goes out with his friends he gets security. He'll probably use this same excuse to try to get out of the Platinum Jubilee celebrations. It's all about me, me, me rather than going out of his way for his grandmother and showing her he cares. He's behaving like a child stamping his feet.
She added, he has got this all wrong. If he comes over for a royal event he gets police protection. What they won't do is, if he goes out with his friends he gets security. He'll probably use this same excuse to try to get out of the Platinum Jubilee celebrations. It's all about me, me, me rather than going out of his way for his grandmother and showing her he cares. He's behaving like a child stamping his feet.